Got Talent and our last live semi-final. We've already seen the first act of the night, but there are seven more desperate to win your votes and stay in the competition. Next up is a singer from Manchester called Liam. He used to sing in a group, but now he's gone solo. I didn't know he was in the competition. I wonder what Noel's going to say. <laughs> no, it's not that one. It's a different one. This is Liam McNally. What's your name? Liam, I'm singing. You are a serious contender to win Britain's Got Talent. Yes, from me. Yes, three yeses. We're going through to the semis. To be in the semi-final, it's just amazing. I wake up singing every day and I, and I go to sleep singing, so it's like my dream come true. This is a really sweet, innocent boy, I think, with an amazing voice. I live in New Moston, which is in North Manchester, and my dad's a news agent, and my mum is a nurse. I don't know where I get my singing from because my mum and dad are totally tone deaf, so... <laughs> Everyone in the family have either been drivers, nurses, no one's ever gone into singing before. But him to stand there on stage in front of everyone, can't explain in words how proud I am. Simon said in my first audition that I've got a short window until my voice breaks. You probably have what you have for another six, nine months. It's going to go. Simon's made me appreciate my voice and how long it's actually got left. We just keep saying nobody knows what your voice is going to do when it breaks so all you can do is your best. This is the last opportunity with this voice and I need to grab it with both fans and just go for it. And here he is, please welcome Liam McNally. Now, you were, you were a big hit with our viewers uh, when you sang Danny Boy in your first audition. Have you had a lot of attention from the show since, since it went out? Yeah, I've been recognised real, uh, all over the place, really. It's just, it was unreal at first, but you're starting to get used to people asking for pictures and... <laughs> where's, where's the weirdest place you've been asked or recognised? On the bus. Uh, going to town. <laughs> um, an old woman come up to me and she was all fluttered and I was like, calm down. I'm, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a normal guy, just calm down. Calm down, dear, it's just me. <laughs> well done, Liam. Well you. done, Liam. Let's see what the judge has made of it, Piers. Well, Liam, you may remember Simon expressing some caution to you that your voice may break before we reach this point of the competition. And the good news is you only potentially have to hang on 24 more hours. <laughs> so <laughs> we were getting there. Um, I thought that was a fantastic performance. I actually was trying to work out if we've had a better singing performance 
in the competition, and I don't think we have. I think that was it. Wow. Thank you, Pete. Hi, Chris. Amanda. It was uh, really gutsy, really confident, and you just looked like you could go again. It's just, it's just, you, you, we, did you think it was good? Yeah. Did you I, enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Honestly, a cracking performance. Thank well done. Thanks, Amanda. Simon. Uh, Liam, once again, you know, two times in a row, absolutely terrific. Audience loved it. Um... Thank you. Thank you very much. Fantastic comments from the judges there. You would do it again as well. If you want to see Liam in the final, the number to call is 09011 32 22 02. But remember, lines don't open until the end of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, Liam McNally.